Hey everyone, it's Doug for Vermont Hoyas. It's um, beginning of October 2019, and welcome to a visit with myself and Hoya species small bell, small yellow bell. This is an extremely rare Hoya that I paid $81 for. So I think it's the most I ever spent for a Hoya. That's the kind of money you have to spend for some of these uh, extremely rare Hoyas. This Hoya I think comes from Indonesia, but I can't I can't swear to it. It came from um, Sarisa Samadhi in Thailand and it has very unusual flowers, kind of unlike anything else that I have I have seen. So I had to have it. And anyway, um oh, it's very early the thing came with buds so I can't really take credit for flowering it but I did manage to keep the buds on long enough for them to open if you stick around to the end of this video you'll see some great uh, still shots of the of the tiny little flowers I'll put my finger up here so you have an idea of how big they are they're probably a quarter inch uh, three eighths of an inch long by uh, three sixteenths of an inch Good evening everyone, it's Doug and I'm back with Hoya Species Small Bell. It's now flowered for the second time. This time I actually got it to bud up and flower on my own. Uh, the flowers are extremely cute, much much nicer than when I uh, got the flowers the first go around. This time they have fully opened and they're much more yellow. I hope they show up in this video because they are phenomenally cute. There is a little bit of a scent and you can see inside, stick around to the end of this video, you'll see some great uh, uh, pictures of close-ups and they have little hairs inside them. Just an absolutely sweet Hoya. I still haven't figured out exactly how to grow this um, this plant. Um, it's not all that healthy looking if you look at the back many yellow leaves but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this plant over again, reroot it and hopefully uh, be able to grow it a little nicer but I love the flowers um, I think this is a must-have plant now I'm much more impressed with it just very very cute definitely hails from Indonesia and that's about all I have to say about it I'll bring it back in an update if and when I'm able to root this plant and get it growing uh, nicer for me. Hi, welcome back to the final segment on Hoya species small bell. And since I filmed the last segment, I see that this plant has a new name. We know a lot more about it. It's now called Hoya amicabilis, uh, named after the Latin amicable. Um, it's related to amicable and social. And the reason they named it this, this is really cool, is because this plant was pretty much brought to bot botanists' attention through social media and Facebook posts and it's just it's really cool so Hoya amicabilis I just I love that name um, it's a native of Java and let's see what else I can tell you since I brought this to you last time which is probably like two three weeks ago I um, I couldn't stand the way it was looking, so I, I decided to chop it up, not knowing whether it's going to make it or not, whether I was going to be able to root it. Well, the piece that was left over, which I almost threw in the trash, and I'm really glad that I didn't, you can see that it grew a new little leaf over there and is growing a, a vine with two more leaves coming out of the um, out of the stem, so it looks like that is not a loss and then I'm trying to root two pieces of it in water and you can see this one here not only does it have a very small couple of roots started but the unbelievable thing is since I cut this off and put it in water look at that it's uh, it's grown a pentacle and is budding up so that's just absolutely crazy so I am hopeful that I haven't killed the plant and I'm going to be able to at least have this piece grow because it's it's got some roots started from the water this one here hasn't hasn't gotten anything on there yet that I can 
I can see, but it very well may root up yet because I'm almost always successful in rooting these things in water. So, knock on wood, I might be able to end up with three, three plants of this. Hey, it's me. I'm back one more time with Hoya amicabilis. And the little pentacle that you saw that grew and budded up in water has now bloomed and I believe I have a new rooted plant because you can see on the bottom that little white root. I think you can see that. Um, pretty amazed. Check those flowers out. This is a truly unique Hoya and one that I hope will be more readily available soon to everyone. If I'm lucky, I might end up with three plants out of my original plant from starting it over, if I'm really lucky. Um, one of them has yet to take root yet, but um, this is definitely a keeper. And another thing I want to say is these flowers are long lasting. Uh, they may be tiny, but they last probably about 10 days or so before they fall off. So that's a huge positive with this this truly special Hoya. Well that's it and I thank you for going through all these different segments with me with Hoya Amicabilis and I'll be back really soon with more great Hoyas and Hoya growing tips. Thanks again for watching.